Hey everyone, it's Miss Bell here again from the Science Lab, and today we're going to be talking about dun dun dun, dun cats. That's right, I said it, cats. Nah. Instead, we're going to be talking about energy and types of energy that we can find in or on our planet Earth. When talking about Earth's resources, we know that there are two types, renewable and non-renewable. The different types of renewable resources are wind, solar, geothermal, biomass, and hydropower. And the different types of non-renewable resources are coal, oil, natural gas, or those are all fossil fuels, and even nuclear power. When we use non-renewable resources, you need to know that once they're used, they're gone. And that's because it takes millions and millions of years to replenish those resources. And that's just because we can't get them replaced quickly enough to meet our needs as humans because we go through them so quickly. Now, non-renewable resources are found and taken from inside the earth, so underneath the ground. But whenever we use them and burn them, it is a huge, huge cause of global warming, which is not good for our planet. Not only that, but these types of resources cause pollution to our planet, not only to the lands, but also the plants and the wildlife and all the animals that live here. And there is a lot of um, carbon dioxide that gets burned from these resources and that is a part of the greenhouse effect which is not good for our planet as well and because once they're used they're gone that just means that they won't be replenished in our lifetime because it takes so long for them to be made and when you're talking about renewable resources well these are things that can be replaced by nature very easily again and again and again and again and again and it also means that they can or even should be used instead of fossil fuels because they can be replaced so easily that does mean that they can be replaced during our lifetime. So it might take a couple or five years, but at least they can be replenished quickly enough. And these types of resources are called clean energy or even maybe green energy. And Earth is able to replace them quickly and fast. Like I mentioned, it might take two or five years, but at least it's not millions and millions of years. Now, these resources can be found above the ground, like wind, or they can be found below the ground, like geothermal energy. And we won't ever run out of these resources. You know what? Unless we're not smart and we don't make wise choices as a whole planet. And some people even consider these types of resources to be free because they can be found in nature. Like wind is free. Water is free. Even though it'll take money to build structures and turbines to get energy from wind and water and and whatnot. So coal is a non-renewable fossil fuel. 
and it's a hard black solid fuel formed from the remains of plants and animals over millions of years ago. To create coal, you need heat and pressure. And we use coal by burning it at power plants in order to generate electricity. Oil is another non-renewable resource. It is a flammable liquid, almost like a yellow to black color, and it's composed of hydrocarbons. And oil is found naturally beneath Earth's surface, and it is formed by a lot of dead um, marine plants and animals that have been buried in the deep layers in Earth's surface. In Natural gas is another non-renewable resource that is formed from the dead plants and animals buried under a water environment. And of course it takes millions and millions of years to create natural gas. And it's usually in the ground positioned above petroleum deposits. And once we get this natural gas from the core of our planet, we use it to burn um, inside at power plants in order to generate energy and electricity. Nuclear power is another form of a non-renewable resource and it's formed by breaking apart the nucleus of certain atoms to release energy. And we harness that energy from the decay of uranium atoms and when we use nuclear power it's to make electricity. Biomass is a type of renewable resource and it's formed from any organic material. Basically that just means anything that was once living. So plants, animals, trees, and we use biomass um, when it's burned to generate steam and electricity. Wind is a type of renewable resource that uses the natural movement of air to generate electricity. And basically how that happens is that there's an energy conversion in which turbines convert the energy of wind into either mechanical energy or electrical energy. And then we get power out of this. Hydroelectric power is a type of renewable resource that uses energy from moving water either in streams or rivers or even oceans and it's used to generate electricity for us to use. Geothermal is another type of renewable resource and basically it's just thermal energy that's generated and stored deep inside our planet. So it's formed by using the heat from Earth that's found at the plate boundaries and then we use that heat to um, convert it into electricity. And last but not least, whew, that was a lot. You guys still with me? <laughs> last but not least is solar energy. And that is a type of renewable resource and we get it from the sun. And light energy is converted into either heat or electricity. And we actually use this a lot. You might see it in solar panels, like on top of houses or out in fields. 